I imagine, a complete nightmare to try and defend against. Well, let me tell you, it should be that easy, you know, to wear number 10 for Barcelona these days. But the, this guy is absolutely brilliant. I mean, uh, you know, he came back after a long-term injury and he shows once again why they really need him to, to keep himself fit because he's been the, the best player of him by, by far today on the pitch. Uh, must be a big relief, you know, for, for Koeman. Don't forget that also Dembele is not far also to coming back. Another player who can also bring some pace. Uh, that link of play with the Payans who fight in the first 45 minutes been great. So, uh, yeah, overall, it was, I think it was a good performance, especially in the 45 minutes for Barcelona. Penalty or no penalty for you, Pablo? No, no, I'm still, I'm still thinking it wasn't uh, a penalty. I, I was a right back, yeah. As a full <laughs> back, sometimes you are many times in those situations. I know sometimes it's so dangerous when you do like, you know, some sliding tackle very, you know, inside the ball, very close. Probably could have, could have been some small contact on Ansu Fati, but I don't know if it was enough for the penalty for me. Um, not sure, not sure. Uh, Pablo very much flying the defender's flag uh, of defence <laughs> in this. Uh, Craig, where do you stand? Pen or no pen? I'm kind of similar. I watched you guys at halftime and, and you know, I think on first viewing you thought, well, penalty kick. But I don't, I actually, and I mean this in all sincerity, I don't think the Spanish host broadcasters have done, done anybody any favours in terms of clearing it up. They gave a, a, a reverse angle from behind the goal, but they really could have given us a real super slow mo yeah. to show us the full to show us the full contact. The one thing I would say, I think there is definitely a case, and I know Shaka touched on this, of of, of maybe coming through the back of Ansu Fati before the ball is played. But again, we didn't get a definitive uh, slow mo of that from the host broadcaster. So once the referee uh, gives the penalty, and I know you guys discussed this, then because it is such a you know, close call, and because it, we're dealing with a minute area of contact, then the VAR is never going to uh, overturn it. But from a defender's aspect, yeah, if he was on the wrong side, but then he felt as if he did his job to get himself back in there. But then Barcelona will argue, well, he's came through the back of the player to play the ball. It, it really was a 50-50 call, but one that I could understand the referee at full speed giving the penalty straight away rather than waiting for VAR to make a decision. Craig, just picking up on Pablo's point, Fatty, without a doubt, you know, the best player on the pitch by a mile for Barcelona. How concerning is that that you're relying so much on an 18-year-old who's just come back from injury? Or how much of a lift that can that be for the rest of the side? Well, you know, there's a lot of youngsters around this Barcelona squad at the moment, so they'll take inspiration from anybody. And, and you know, it might have to be from another youngster. You know, you usually look to experienced players, particularly in times of trouble. But the one thing I would say, the bigger concern here is that he has come into this Barcelona side after such a long time out and was still sort of head and shoulders above the rest. Mm. And that kind of sends out a worrying signal to me about the rest of the squad in terms of the experienced players. But, but yeah, a positive from his point of view, but a concern when you're, you know, relying on a youngster from a long-term injury to come back and be your best player, that's surely saying to the other experienced players, come on, guys, you need to step up. People like Frankie de Jong and others really need to show that talent and take, take the game by a scruff of the neck. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.